Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create an ultimate boot CD for Win on a USB pen drive so you can make that bootable and use it as a pre-installed Windows environment so you can actually fix a lot of computer problems. Maybe your computer is not booting up or, or something like that nature, you've got viruses, trojans or something or you just want to do some general cleaning or transfer some files across. Well I showed you how to do a video yesterday on how to make an ISO image to burn it to a CD and someone's requested how do I make it bootable on a USB stick. Well I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now you're going to need the program first so you're still going to need to come to uh, ultimatebootcdforwin.com and actually come to the downloads page and download from one of these reputable, reputable sites. Okay and once you've got that download you install that. Okay now don't get this confused with Ultimate Boot CD. that's a, a DOS based program this is a Windows based program okay so that's the one you need and then once you've got it installed I showed you in my other video how to install it and configure it so if you want to watch that first by all means now once you've got it installed you need to have your Windows XP CD off the CD and put a folder inside your root directory called XP and rip all the files off okay off the XP CD into that folder like so you can read it from the CD but it just takes twice as long so just do that and obviously you install the program and then run the program okay once you've installed it this is what you're going to be confronted with once you in, uh, click on the actual icon there so we need to do is put your location to that XP folder so obviously you just need to click on this and get the XP folder located there as you can see C XP folder that's our Windows leave this as default that's okay and make and this will probably be default for you when you look at it so you just change that to none okay you put it on that one if you want to create an ISO image but for this video we don't we just want to actually go to a USB uh, pen drive so basically put it on none so the first thing you want to do obviously is configure all your plugins so what I advise you to do first is do like I did in the other video is update all the actual um, virus scanners and, and, and stuff like that so let me just quickly show you that before we move on to the next phase okay so I'm just gonna come down to say for instance this one or antivirus there we go just click on configure and as you can see it's just gonna do an update now of that file okay it's downloading it to that folder so get all the latest definitions go through and all the ones that you want anything you don't want just disable it okay and it's as simple as that really just is disable any any programs that you don't want there is a lot of programs there which will come in pretty handy okay that's now done okay now if you want to add some plugins at this stage you can actually download the plugins they're all over the internet but just make sure you scan them first because obviously some people are nasty and I want to put some nasties in, embedded in there so just make sure you scan everything first before you actually put it into your build and only try and get them from a reputable site okay now once you've got your little uh, plugin you can actually click on add and find the location of that file and add it in that way okay so for instance if it's in your documents you click on the file and click open and that will actually put it into here and then you just do the same thing configure it and update if it needs updating okay it's generally got a lot of the programs that you need and the next thing you need to make sure as well is make sure this is switched on because enabled ultimate boot CD for win to USB okay so we're going to be using that to actually uh, build our USB pen drive uh, with ultimate boot CD for win on it Now we're not going to do that just yet so leave that for now just to make sure it's enabled okay so we're going to come out of here now and we're going to actually build our operating system so what you need to do at this stage is click on build and let that run its course now if you watch my last video you'll see how it works so basically you just go like that click yes and let it build like so now this is going to take some time so as I said let that run go down and make yourself a cup of tea it will take a bit of time now you want to look out for errors and warnings you want to make sure you haven't got them if you have you need to fix those first before it will let you build um, finish the build okay so I'll pause it at this stage Okay, as you see, we're nearly done there now. 
that's took some time so depending on how fast your PC is and how much memory you got it will depend on how fast it actually does its process so just let it do its thing and uh, it will start to decompress all the files in a minute and, ch and verify the files are all on there all we're doing now is actually building the actual uh, Ultimate Boot CD PE because it's based on BART PE really, and it's just built. It's building that um, the actual uh, files that we need to copy across. Okay. Okay, so that's the building done now. So what we need to do now is come into our pl uh, plugins again. Okay, like so. And make sure, as I said, you've got this one enabled. And now we're going to come to the configure. Let's click on configure. Let that little box come up. It takes a bit of time. Okay, there it is. So basically, you need to make sure that you've got your flash drive that you you got there that you want to select. Now this flash drive's not big enough, but I'm just using it for testing purposes to show you how to do it. Enable disk format, put a tick in there. And now if it's a small pen drive like this, you only need FAT16. But obviously if it's a four gig or something like that, just slip it to uh, FAT32. You can do that here. Okay, but we're not gonna use FAT16. And uh, obviously on with boot CD for win is the default label. That's the label you'll see on the actual, uh, my computer, you'll see it here. Okay, so you can change that to whatever you like at this stage. Now this is the location, you can see it grayed out there. It's actually going to the BART PE folder, which is inside your C drive, where um, in your ultimate boot CD. Okay, it's where it's, it's created all the files. If you look inside here, it's created all the files that it needs in this folder. This is what we're going to copy across. Okay, so don't worry about that leave that on your use grub for DOS okay and then make sure you've got the ticks all in this box down here like so and then click start this will give you the warning it's going to format okay once it says that say yes and let it do its job as you can see it's right in the actual you can see it grayed out there you can see it moving at the top here it's right in the boot um, Boot it, master boot record and stuff like that and there you go it's formatting and so on once it's done that it will start to install the files and then you're pretty much done after that okay it's starting to copy the files now there we go and then just let it do its thing. It will take some time, so it's got to copy all those files across. Make sure that you've got enough space. This pen, as I said, this pen drive is not big enough. Just make sure you've got enough space. You know, I would say over a gig pen stick, and that'll be enough, really. Um, and that'll be good enough. And that's basically it. Once this is finished, you just put that in your in the actual. Um, leave it in the actual machine. Go to your boot order. Change the boot order to boot to your USB stick or USB pen drive or whatever you want to call them, thumb drive, they're all different names and then basically you should boot up into this Ultimate Boot CD for win now it will take some time to load so give it a fair bit of time it will take, it could take up to 10 minutes but I mean once you boot, once it's booted up it's stable that's it you can fix a lot of problems from that environment okay now I can't show you how it boots up obviously on a USB stick because I haven't got a camcorder but my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk Thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel. Got any questions, leave a comment. Got any requests, send me an email and I'll do my best to make a video for you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.